listen to this conversation between Paul and Jan Crouch and Kenneth Copeland. Does God use faith? Sure. Now, now see, here's a sore spot. There are those not with who him. say. Not with, not, not with you. No, no, no. <laughs> not with God. In fact, I'm not sore at God at all, and I don't think he's sore at me. I don't know. I'm not even saying he is. No, but the, the critics say God is God. He doesn't have to have faith. He doesn't exercise faith. He doesn't use faith. He's God. He's the object of faith. Oh, wait a minute. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Did you catch that? I, the first thing that Kenneth Copeland said, now, wait a minute. Why, I don't know why God soar at me. I haven't done anything to him. How arrogant. How arrogant. But then he says, now, wait a minute. What, what's that mean? God is the object of our faith. I don't know what that means. And then you hear Jan Crouch say, well, I don't either. Friends, that's not meat. That's milk. The fact that God is the object of our faith, I mean, that's first grade Sunday school stuff. You don't get more basic than that. And it's astonishing to me that these people who claim to be our leaders in Christianity don't understand the elementary truth that God is the object of our faith. Because you see, in their system, God's not the object of faith. Faith is the object of faith. You see, in the prosperity gospel, faith is not placed in God. Faith is a force that you direct at God to make him do whatever you want him to do. And it's really ironic when you think about it that these people who call themselves faith preachers have a fundamental misunderstanding of what faith actually is.